welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today you guys, I'm gonna be doing a little cleaning motivation. I'm going to be cleaning my master bedroom. It really does need a little bit of deep cleaning. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna make sure I get everything all clean. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I love to share um, home decor videos on my channel. So I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family here and to all of my beautiful subscribers hey y'all welcome back to the channel thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video so here i'm just taking my microfiber cloth and i am using um, a combination of the spray away glass cleaner from my mirror and then also on my acrylic lamps i'm using some mrs meyer's multi-purpose spray so these lamps i got from the these lamps i got from a local furniture store here in houston as well as the mirrors but I do have them linked in my Amazon store if you guys are interested because I found some a similar company to actually sell them online. Now my nightstands always get really dusty, especially by it being black. So I'm just making sure I take some of my multi-purpose spray and get that all cleaned up as well. So I always get a lot of questions on my bed here. This bed I had for a while now. I did purchase it from Wayfair. It's since been discontinued, but I absolutely love it. Only thing is that it does pick up a lot of dirt by it being black and then it is easily to scratch. So I do have, this is a pretty good quality. So I'm just using this multi-purpose spray again and I'm just taking my rag and I'm just making sure I go ahead and clean along the wood part of the bed because it does does hold a lot of dirt and a lot of dust. So next I'm just gonna do the same thing over here on my husband's nightstand as well. Until my lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night so I did go ahead and remove all of my linen off of my bed as you can see I did pop it in the washing machine so that I can have some fresh sheets and pillows on my bed I'm just taking my Dyson vacuum cleaner and then I'm just using the little attachment for upholstery and I'm using that to dust off of my headboard and then I'm also going to use it to dust my mattress as well and make sure there's in there's not any lint or anything on it. Now I did need to pick up a new mattress pad, so I went to Home Goods and I found this Martha Stewart one from Home Goods. It was $49.99. It's very thick and plush, so I really do love it. This one um, is in the size of a king, so they didn't have any California kings, but nonetheless, it still was able to fit pretty snugly on my mattress. And in case you're wondering, my mattress is by Helix Sleep. It's the Helix Dusk, Dusk mattress, so I'll have it linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. 
actually going to go ahead and get my linen out of my washer and out of my dryer so i'm just going to add in my white sheets I always like using white sheets it just makes the bed feel so crisp and clean so i always have white linen i'm still using my linen from bowling branch collaboration that i did some months ago this linen is very soft very very um very soft and very comfortable it gets better with each wash so i'll have that information linked down in the description box too if you guys are interested as well I always like to go in with a little room freshener after I get done making up my bed or adding my sheets to my bed just to make my add that special touch to the linen so I'm using my Jo Malone in peony and blush this smells absolutely amazing if you love the candle you will definitely love the room freshener as well Now, if my comforters and my uh, throw blankets and things like that are really wrinkly, I usually like to bust out my handheld steamer and try to steam those so that they'll be a little bit more nice and crisp. So the bottom sheets, I'm not going to steam because you're going to be that's going to be covered up by my um, coverlet, so you won't see that anyway. But I am going to make it a point to steam my pillows because you will see that. And then I just love to have a nice, crisp, clean pillow. So I'm using my handheld steamer. I picked this one up from Amazon. It's by Electric. Lux. I absolutely love it because it can hold a lot of water in there and it gets really hot and then with this one you can use it and it the water doesn't spill all over the place like some of the other handheld steamers so this one works really good and it gets the wrinkles out with just one little one little press going through it so I absolutely love it so I'll have this one linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested
So for my top blanket, I'm just gonna use a coverlet. So I found this really pretty coverlet from Home Goods. This is by Tahari Home. This was actually, I believe, $39.99. But only thing it came in the packet was just the blanket itself. So it's absolutely gorgeous. It's thin. It's not too thick because I do get really hot at night. So I thought this would be really nice to kind of give a little refresh to my space. So I'm just gonna add that on here as well. And then as you can see here, it's not wrinkled at all, so I don't have to run the steamer through it. But yeah, I absolutely love it though. I did get it in a size king because again, they didn't have a California king. It's really hard to kind of find California king bed linen um, in the stores. Most of the time I have to go and pick up something online. But I really do love how um, bright this is and then how it just adds a freshness to my bed. For this bedroom refresh, I'm really just using a lot of things that I'm already that I already own. So the only thing is really new is that coverlet that I got from Tahari Home, and then I bought maybe two um, other little bed pillows. But yeah, so this pillow here is the Omni pillow. I got this one from Z Gallery, and this one they do come in other colors, but this is size 22 by 22. So I have a link down in the description box below if you guys are interested. So I do have three, but I did want to add in this furry pillow because it is winter time is the weather is a lot cooler that I found from home goods and this one is really cute and it almost have like a kind of grayish white color very soft but only thing is I was only able to find one it was like $29.99 I believe at home goods so I'm gonna still combine this one pillow I'm just gonna remove one of my gray pillows in the center and then add this one in the center is instead did find this little ball pillow as well I thought it was super cute from home goods it's by Rachel Zoe this one was $14.99 so I'm gonna add this to my bed as well and this one is in that same fur kind of fur faux fur material as well and then that completes the look you guys so yeah I absolutely love how this look has turned out like I said I really am trying to read use a lot of the things that I have in my home already so I do definitely would recommend you guys shopping your home first and trying to reuse some of the things that you already own instead of going out buying a bunch of new things so just incorporate the old with the new so I am working on a new project so we have started construction on my home office slash she shed so I can't wait to share that update video with you all as well so yeah so we're gonna be doing a lot of work out there so I'm trying to be on a budget and minimize what I use, what I um, spend on home decor and try to reuse a lot of the pieces that I already own. So on my nice stand here, I'm keeping it simple and I'm just adding in some florals. I had these flowers for a while. I got these from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna add them. And these little vases I got from Home Goods, I think back in December. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. Now next I'm going to just take my vacuum cleaner and I'm just going to vacuum off my set T. This set T always get a lot of questions. I did pick it up from Tall Furniture, so I'll have it linked down in the description box below. But it is tufted on the back. You just can't see it because it's against the wall, but it has some chrome legs and they do have um, other colors as well. So I'll have it linked down in the description box below, but I'm just taking that soft brush attachment to my Dyson. I'm just making sure I remove any crumbs or dust off of it. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.